guys, welcome to this episode of DVD Deep Dive. As you can probably tell, this week we are looking at this beautiful set of Superman. It came out with the release of Superman Returns, but included all the other Christopher Reeve movies, as the Superman Returns was a sort of semi-sequel to Superman 2, but this includes all the Christopher Reeve movies, as well as a lot of other stuff. So let's take a look at this. But first, I would just like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Please like, please comment. I definitely comment. I love to read the comments and I always try to respond as quickly as possible. And of course, please share this with anyone you think will enjoy this stuff. But okay, let's get into the set. Here it is. Here is the back. Now granted, this is there's a slip cover on it. So we'll take the slip cover off. And the back is, oh, it's tucked in, that's right. Tucked in the on the bottom. And then it should slide right off. There you go. There's the back. Here's the other back. So my front's been kind of dinged up a little bit, but that's what you get. So let's, let's just open this bad boy up. Let you see what's inside. Nice lenticular cover. And we will take this out. Okay, we got it out. Inside is just a little piece of foam. You know, special collector's edition foam right there. It has a spacer. We'll put that right here. And then here is the set itself with the lenticular cover. Beautiful. And then on the back, again, this was released with Superman Returns. And here is a set again. Here's the front. It's got a lot of fronts and a lot of backs. And keep the glare off. And then you open it and it's just sort of a, uh, a booklet of discs. So let's go over the pack-ins that it came with. Here is the booklet it comes with, but they make it look like an issue of the Daily Planet. Superman Ultimate Collector's Edition Man of Steel prevents rail disaster. And here are your movies. Now you have Superman the Movie theatrical version and then Superman the Movie expanded edition from 2000. Then Superman the Movie from the Archives, which is a special feature disc. And Superman the Movie from the Superman Vault, another special feature disc. I will show you the pages. Then we move on to Superman 2, theatrical version, 1980-81. I don't know what that means, if it got changed somewhere along the line. And then Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut from 2006. Superman 2 from the Superman Vault, which is the special features disc on it. And Superman 3 just says 1983. I don't think... Yeah, there's no separate disc for Superman 3 special features, but there are special features on the disc itself with the making of Superman 3 TV special, deleted scenes, and theatrical trailer. Here is Superman 4. Again, same as 3. It's just the release of the movie. Some with some deleted scenes, commentary, and a theatrical trailer. And then, of course, Superman Returns, which was the reason why this set got released. This was the home video release of Superman Returns. So that was the first disc is the movie. The second disc is the special features. And then we have Look Up in the Sky, The Amazing Story of Superman. It's an amazing documentary. And then you have a disc that says, You Will Believe the Cinematic Saga of Superman. And then you've got the director's video journals. Oh, here is the hype sticker. Ultimate 14 disc collection with seven Superman films and over 20 hours of extra. Seven Superman films if you count like Richard Donna's cuts, I think. I think that's the way they're doing it if you count it. Each film is separate. Here are the credits for each movie. And there's the back. 
It also comes with this beautiful comic book. I mean, after all, that's how Superman started. Comic book. Here is the comic book. It's nice glossy paper. I'll just zip through it real quick. Obviously you can't read it, but maybe you Superman aficionados know this comic book, this story. So yeah, how many of you guys out there have this set? Let me know. And that's it. And now it's just some artwork. That's really cool. And last artwork and an advertisement for Superboy, Lois and Clark, and original George Reeves Superman show. Okay, now... You've also just got, you know, regular old Warner Brothers movie, you know, promoting their catalog titles, basically. And then this, get these five 27 by 40 original movie poster reproductions free. I don't know why I didn't do this. I would have loved those. I would have absolutely loved those. For, I mean, it's free. It's probably sh you pay shipping and handling, but what's it going to be, five bucks? I don't even see it, but... Uh, yeah, $5. I don't know why. I, I, I think I always meant to do it, and then I just never did it. So there's that. Wish I had done it, because I do love theatrical movie posters. Um, and then there's this. Get five free posters. This is also another hype sticker that was on the outside. Now, let's keep all this safe and just put it aside. And let's show you the actual discs. There is Superman the movie. We got another Superman 2. One of them's the Richard Donner cut. Superman 3. Superman 4 we just show, showed. And here we are into Superman Returns. And there is the back of that. So that is the Superman Ultimate Collector's Edition. Let's put all these back. I have to say, I grew up on the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. I, it, I mean, just... Some of my all-time favorites. One and two. I've come to appreciate three a little more. I mean, I liked three as a kid. Four, I've come to, um, I don't know. I think I liked it as a kid, and then I look at it, and it could have been a good story, um, but they just didn't have the budget when they did it. I think a kernel of a good story was there. I just don't think they were able to execute it. Um, but, of course, the Richard Donner original, and I also love the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2. How I wish he was able to see that through. I, I mean, I love Superman 2, the theatrical cut. I grew up watching it, usually if it was on HBO or, or whatever. Um, so I grew up watching it, and I loved it, and I still love it. I feel like I love the Richard Donner cut more, because I think it's just a better movie. But granted, it's not a complete movie, so I don't know what to think about that. Which one? Which one's in my head canon? Um, I did grow up on, t on the theatrical, of course, but I do love the Richard Donner cut. One thing I have on Blu-ray is the, well, I have I have the Superman movies on Blu-ray as well, but one thing I have on Blu-ray is the TV version of Superman the movie because they took all the deleted scenes and added them in because originally uh, ABC broadcasted it as a two-night event, so they um, they couldn't edit it down, you know, without completely wrecking the story to fit in a two-hour time frame on TV. And if they released it over two nights with just the t with just the theatrical version at the time, 
It just wasn't long enough. So they took, they just threw the kitchen sink at it. Every deleted scene that they had got thrown in so they could make a two-night event out of Superman's network television debut. I love back then when I was a kid and we had network television debuts. It was like, it was like an event. So yeah, that is Superman Ultimate Collector's Edition. We're going to put it back with the special collectible foam and put that back in the case and while i'm doing that i please ask that you subscribe to the channel you like you comment you share it really helps me out it helps out the channel it gets the channel out to as many people as possible and allows me to keep making this which i love to do so again please comment please share please like and definitely please subscribe all right that's it for dvd deep dive this week um until next time guys have a good one <laughs>